Yo, what is up, guys? Um, I've been hard at work. I've been pretty burnt out on Mario Maker 2, and I'm going to talk about that in today's video. Um, I haven't been playing a lot, but I have been making a few levels. Um, and the last time I showed off a video, like my levels, I did something called Mount Morton. Um, and it's basically a 3D world wall jumping series. Um, kind of inspired by Celeste a little bit. Actually, a lot, but... <laughs> um, I'm a big fan of 3D world. Um, so I'm... And, I'm making a series of levels, and uh, before I thought that was like something that you kind of don't want to do, um, but I'm actually a huge advocate for it now, um, because you can expand upon your gimmicks over multiple levels. So basically, if you saw the last video, it was kind of like you were ascending in a snowy area, and then this time you're going downwards in this cave area, um, and I just glossed over everything, but it's kind of tight. And then here, you wall jump, you long jump into the wall, and there's this really cool cinematic section where you like fall downwards. Um, and I, I was just testing around, like, I was going to continue the tight spike, uh, like, wall jumping downwards thing. Um, but when I was testing, when you long jump into a wall, you fall. And in the vertical area where you're going down, you can fall, like, a great distance, and it looks really cinematic and cool. So then I got the idea to go back upwards and have all these pipes sticking out of the wall, because I'm going with, like, this pipe theme, because the level's called Pipe Passageway. Um, and then kind of wall jumping off of these like small pipes sticking out of the wall. It's really cool and it's kind of colorful because we have all these different colored pipes now. Um, it is tedious, but I give you a checkpoint at the bottom of the hole and then the second you finish the climb you get another checkpoint. So you should only ever have to do it once. But it is pretty cool and really cinematic moment. And then here you get in 50 coin if you wall jump the second you come out of the pipe. Um, I would have killed the person right there and required it, but I thought that would be kind of mean. So I just thought you would encourage it with a 50 coin. And then here... Wall jumping out of the clear pipe is kind of like the gimmick of the second half of this level. Um, and it's a little bit tricky, so I've missed it right there. Because uh, even though I made it, I suck. <laughs> and the clear pipe timings can mix you up. But I think it's really cool. Um, and I like discovered that you could do that while making this level. And it's something that I want to expand upon in future, which we'll see in the next two levels. Um, and I think that's a big bonus of making a series of levels, is that you can introduce something in the first level. Um, and like get the player warmed up to it and then in the next level you can just throw it at them and expect that they already know it because I mean people in Endless um, Won't know that and they'll probably have to have a harder time um, But you can always go to my maker profile or people could like look up the level ideas or find like this video And then play all the levels in a row and I think that's really cool So there's the second level pretty fun and then I, I had the long jump thing into a wall again <laughs> um, For like a fake out and uh, chapter three is called Mina's Mansion, um, and Mina is my ex-girlfriend, and I think it's always fun to joke about the past, so that's what this is. <laughs> um, but I introduced, there's more clear pipe stuff, but it's also escorting a crate, because you can use it to make a platform. And there's that wall jump out of a clear pipe thing, just like thrown at you right away, but you like pretty much learned and mastered it in the second level. Uh, so it's not that bad. But this first section is super free, you just carry the crate up to here, and then you just uh, helicopter jump or whatever. Wall jump back up here. And this is the first enemy. The first two levels had no enemies, and I'm kind of like keep a no enemy vibe. Um, but chapter three, I really want to use thwomps for wall jumping. As you see right there, you wall jump off the moving thwomp before it breaks. And that jump's a little tight, so I died, but here we go. So there's the wall jump out of the clear pipe, and then off of a moving thwomp, so the levels are getting crazier. You should be able to do that, and you can do that in a f one run, but I kind of like just cheeky with the wall jump because I missed the jump and then made it anyway. But here's more crate escorting. This level has hot lore because the bully is Mina. <laughs> and um, if you this this section is super dope because there's a P-switch and there's an icicle so you can go in and out of the clear pipe. Like in my level design video where you go in and out of the clear pipe, but it's like even crazier because it's an icicle. So when you go back into the pipe, you have to wall jump and there's a P-switch timer. There's so much happening on screen. <laughs> Um, but those spikes will activate and deactivate. Um, my controller, I was having a really hard time wall jumping today, so I kept falling, but thankfully, like, it's not too punishing because you can actually make it back up. And here you're gonna wall jump out the clear pipe onto at the womp and then wall jump across it. So it's really cool, like, I'm just really enjoying making a series of level where I can gradually increase the craziness of the wall jumping as, like, the central theme. Alright, mean, here's more hot lore, because there's a bed, and she's wanting to get down, but, you know, it plays the spooky sound effect. So you have to escape the mansion, <laughs> and uh, here's the, the the prior men who fell into that trap. <laughs> um, and yeah, she didn't like that. So it, it's kind of like Celeste, where you like the third level is like the hotel slash mansion level, 
and then Mr. Ashir gets angry with you at the end. So that's, that was my inspiration for this level. Everything else just is a joke. And here's the boss fight where Mr. Ashira or Mina gets big or whatever. And I'm just gonna cut ahead because I, I goofed the boss fight, you know, it's really easy. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's an it's basically you take the crate escorting from the beginning and then you kind of like put it on steroids. So you, you have to use the boss to get up here to continue carrying the crate because you need it. Um, and normally I'm not a big fan of waiting for enemies, and I'm still like you're still waiting in this level. You can make that throw, or you could use the bully to throw it up into that cliff. But I think waiting for enemies sometimes is jank or like slow or tedious, but I tried to make it interesting by making you like wall jump and like use the clear pipe wall jump, like use the things you've used before in the level to uh, to do while you wait for the bully. Lots of long jumps because long jumps are amazing. And you can spin up to this thing or you can use the bully and then if you run it fast enough across the icicles then the bully won't be able to catch up to you, which is pretty cool. Um, maybe a cinematic thing. I think I'm getting better at storytelling in my levels. Uh, I don't know, I had a lot of fun making this, and you can get the top of the goalpost for one one-up. There's not, there's no three one-ups in this level, or in the, the last one, but the fourth one does have some, because I think it's harder. That one was, that one can be tricky, especially like the middle of the mansion part, but the beginning and the end are kind of free. So, here is Mount Morton Chapter 4, Speed Ridge. Uh, so shout out to Philip and Ruben in my Discord. Because they are champs and they just stealing each other's world records on all the Mount Morin levels. And I didn't know that they'd be that fun to speedrun, but apparently they are. So I made Chapter 4 with speedrunning in mind. Like, you can pretty much do it without stopping. It's really fast, and I'm using the mushroom platforms as a gimmick in this level. And kind of ground pounding, so you can, like, ground pound to get more speed, go down the slopes. Um, and then there's just more clear pipe wall jumping, because it's, like, something I'm a huge fan of now. And I'm just, like, throwing it around everywhere. You can get this mushroom in one motion, um, and all my testing I did, but in the actual upload process I missed it. But here you got like some cool back and forth wall jumping uh, before a ground pound. This mushroom is required uh, until the end of the level, where if you still have it, it uh, kind of gives you the true ending basically. Really fun, this one's a fun speedrunning level. It has 100 seconds, um, but you really only need 70. And this part's really cool because you go back and forth uh, in this vertical section to get the red coins, which are required. Um, but you like go back and forth, and the, as you notice, the wall jumping in this level gets smaller. You're going off of one tile spaces a lot of the time, and in this that part right there is super hard to keep the mushroom for. But that's why the mushrooms are the true ending. And then vertical pipes, we all know that they're like the hardest thing ever. If you watch any guys of players, they always talk about vertical pipes. That one's actually kind of hard to get into, but you get your three one ups if you have the mushroom. You can also get the top of the goalpost. I gave some coins for people on Endless. I was feeling nice. I was feeling happy. Speedrunning is really fun. Um, and then there's the top of the goalpost. <laughs> um, the other two levels I uploaded like yesterday and the day before that, but this one uh, I was uploading literally just now. Uh, so here's the clear from the checkpoint while I say my conclusions. Um, but yeah, all in all, I love 3D World. I still need to do a Mario Maker 2 review. Um, I haven't even talked about them being that burnt out like I'm not even playing that much I used to I used to have a gold medal in endless now it's bronze because I haven't played endless anymore <laughs> um, but yeah look at those one tile wall jumps pretty fun uh, but yeah I haven't been playing any levels like only a few here and there uh, from people in discord but like none from the most popular like I haven't played anything uh, and then Pooh's level got deleted I really wanted to play that at some point but I'm just so burnt out from Kaizo that I didn't get to it and now it's gone so that sucks but Here's my levels, and then hopefully I'll be playing some more. 